Good day everyone, welcome back to Vampire the Masquerade Bloodlines. Uh, so last time we uh, tried to um, hack into this computer, blah blah blah, find the Purple Manifest, all of that. Uh, and I kind of failed because, uh, well, the police officer saw me. Let's see, unlock doors. That's where the key one. Get them some. Not no. On. Uh, sound horn, sure. Don't know what that does. If everybody will attack me, oh well. Okay, now. When I went out through here, the officer saw me, so maybe there's another door I can unlock or whatever. Records room. Oh, maybe. Maybe this has something. Oh, ship manifest. You have successfully completed your tasks aboard. The Elizabeth Dean is brought back to the prince. Okay. Awesome. Let's save. Because this game requires a lot of save files. <laughs> if you want to, you know, replay a certain points in the story so you know what I mean. When they don't fully open, you know, you try to walk through them, I guess. And what's that happens? They hit you in the face with the door. And um, I will, I'm probably going the wrong way. I don't even know. There's actually a lot of blood over here, so something happened. I don't know, you can't really see too well, you know, through the cameras because you know, they're just low quality pictures, basically, not camera footage, but still. Do I go this way? Yeah, kind of, I think. Yeah, let's hope that officer won't see us. Because I don't want to get caught. Now I do believe we leave the same way we came here, right? So let's find the uh, this and just quietly. How did I? Oh, well, damn! It was my fault. Am I falling down? Is there fall damage in this game? Probably not, because there's not many places that you can fall from, I guess, so... I don't know. And you're a vampire, so... It would be kind of strange if... You know... You wouldn't have superpowers like that. Just saying. Okay. Let's check our journal. Uh, yeah. Nothing changed, so let's go back to the prince, I guess. Since it's not really saying me to go to the Anarchs, telling me uh, to go to the Anarchs, I'm guessing I, we don't really need to, at least for now. And I need more blood. I need it real bad. Um, Second Street is where I want to go, I think. Is there anyone I can talk to that would give me blood? Because <laughs> as I said literally five seconds ago, I need it really bad. Um, don't have a card for that. I'm assuming that's connected to a quest. Hop in. Sure, why not? Back to the downtown area we go. This game loads strangely, for me at least. I don't know why. As you can see right now, it loaded fully, kind of. By looking at the bar, you could tell that, I guess. But still, it takes quite a long time to load, actually. Hey! Uh, I know this might seem creepy and all, but please don't blow me off, okay? Someone told me I could find you here. I mean, I've been looking all over for you since that night. Because I just wanted to... 
I'm in your debt. I want to help you. I owe you my life, and I feel like I need to repay you. Uh, I almost forgot. I'm Heather. Heather Poe. I'm not weirding you out or anything, am I? That's hard to do these nights. You look much better. I'm glad. Only because of you. What you did for me. Here. I I got you this. I thought you might be able to use it. It can be useful to you. I'd do anything. Just tell me you'll let me help you. Let me stay with you. I can feel this way. So we kind of turned her into a ghoul. <laughs> And that's why she wants to be with us. But it's good because then we have an unlimited source of blood. So, um, of course, Heather, I would love for you to stay with me because I need blood really bad. Really? I promise you won't regret it. Promise. I'll get you money. I'll get you things. Everything. I will be important. Wait for me at my place. I can have you following me around. It's dangerous. Uh, I know where you live. I checked there first. I'll wait for you at your place. And when you do come back, I'll take care of whatever you want. I'd do anything for you. My dear Heather, what did I ever do without you? I'll see you later. I'm just being nice to you. So we do have a, an apartment in the downtown area now, don't we? Yes, I believe in the Skyline Apartments. I don't remember which floor. Or do we still not know about that apartment and the prince will tell us about it right now? We'll see. Do I need to speak to you? Evening, Missy. You back to see Mr. LaCroix again? Yeah, that's right. Yeah, he told me to send you up as soon as you came in. Lots of people here to see Mr. LaCroix. Nice guy. He seems a little different, though. I wonder if he's... Ah, uh, that's his business. How's it going, Chunk? Ah, you know, I'm keeping the undesirables out and the innocent safe and secure. I'm the thin blue line that separates the crazies from the hard-working decent folks. Yep, as long as I'm around, Mr. LaCroix got nothing to worry about. I'm sure he appreciates that you're here to protect him. See you, Chunk. Like you could protect him against vampires. Doubt that. Ooh, a cutscene. I've said all I need to for now. Out of all of those people, I only know the region, so yeah. I'm assuming none of those people are unique. Maybe the woman, probably not. I don't have time for a monologue. Give me the bullet points of what you saw. Everyone on board was massacred. There weren't any survivors. And the Ankaran sarcophagus? What did you see? Your text, uh, the subtitles for your text did not change, which is strange. There was blood all over the floor. Handprints indicate it was open from within. Open? Let's not jump to conclusions. Give me the manifest in your notes. I'll sort this mess later. You might have noticed when you came in. The parade of malingering Molly couples filing out. Yeah, this is some kind of glitch, I'm assuming. Yeah, who were they? Those were the Primogen, this city's clan elders. Worrisome bunch devoted first and foremost to the security of their own skin. Which is why they were here. It seems Alistair Grout, the Malkavian Primogen, has either forgotten how to answer his phone, or is missing. The Sabbat's appearance has put the Primogen on edge. Grout's mansion is in the Hollywood Hills. I need you to pry Grout out of whatever crack he's crawled into and have him contact us. Certainly. Is that all? Yes, for the moment. You know, your demeanor thus far bears similar characteristics to those that rise to the top of this organization. Stay that course. Thank you, sir. Now about Grout. Yes. About Grout, as I said, Grout is the Malkavian primogen. His behavior and home are eccentric, to say the least. He's developed a paranoid bent lately, so you may have to check under every bed in the place for him. I'll go right away. When we hear from Grout, you may come back. 
Until then. What if he's dead? Oh, and to show my appreciation for your dedicated service to me, I have secured you a haven nearby, in the Skyline apartment building. I hope it's to your liking. Thanks. Tell my ghoul to move there too. <laughs> like you would tell her to do that. I mean, literally, the ghoul was there. I thought she would talk to you after you do this quest, you know, you speak to you, LaCroix, and then you go out, and then she finds you. But maybe that's a glitch, I don't know. And she found me first. Uh, so I guess we should go to our apartment first, drink some blood from her, because we really need it. Uh, and then maybe go to the annex, but I doubt it might be just only me walking to them and, you know, trying to talk to them and then finding out that I can't really them anything basically uh, which way is my apartment here I don't remember uh, I think this way I might be wrong like always I, I, I told you I get lost here constantly so I think that's right oh yeah skyline apartments which floor does it say you have successfully completed your tasks blah blah the prince wishes you to contact Alistair Grout, the Malkavian Primogen. You should try looking for him at his mansion on the outskirts of town. We will do that, but no. Which floor do I live on? Maybe I can check the computer and it will tell. Hmm. That would be good. Honestly, I'm waiting for the second game. It will come out next year, right? I can't wait. I, I like this game and honestly, you know. With updated graphics, a new storyline, all of that. Seems pretty cool. Let's check the computer. Um, parties, notes. No. Apartment 4, I'm assuming. Yeah, probably. Could have checked the post box, but anyway. The mailbox and the post box. What am I seeing? a long time to get to the fourth floor and this is our apartment quite nice oh and we have an aquarium huh uh 12 gauge two people let's take it anything else let's check around before we talk to her Oh, this is a radio. Oh, this is our new computer. We have seven emails and three are unread. Let's check them out, actually. Oh, can't write. I forget the password sometimes. Right um, number five. It's kind of hard to read on this computer. A favor from LaCroix. It has come to our attention that the sample of werewolf blood has no made it great. into the hands of the local tabloid and that they have sent it on the clinic in sent it on to the clinic in Santa Monica for a testing. The responsible party has been dealt with most painfully, I can assure you. But for obvious reasons we can't have anyone testing the blood. Please retrieve the blood sample from the clinic and leave it in your mailbox. You will be compensated accordingly. LaCroix. It's hard to read on this computer. Repeat favors from Mer Mercurio. I can't pronounce his name. Too difficult for me, apparently. Stop by my apartment when you get a chance. I'll set you up, okay? Don't touch the butter. Um, the new extreme sport, okay. So we do have a new side quest. LaCroix has contacted you through email and given you the task of retrieving a pack of werewolf blood from the medical clinic to protect the masquerade. Uh, what else do we have? Huh, I, 
maybe I should Google if the Lucky Star Motel is in Santa Monica because you know that might be. I don't even I'm remember. So it isn't. I'm back. too lazy to look around I'm for it. I guess. Just like you asked. Your place is um nice. I didn't decorate it. Is there something I can do for you? Anything? Just ask. I could use some of your blood, Heather. I've never done that before, but for you, if you want, I guess I could try it. Is this like a sex thing? <laughs> no. You survived because of my blood. I'm a vampire. You're bound to me. What? Uh, you're joking, right? That's like slang for something like catcher or some fetish term, right? Not like a blah, blah, vampire. Right? I'm afraid not. My blood commingles with your own. A term for you is ghoul. No. No, there's no such thing. You're. This isn't funny anymore. Don't worry, my sweet pet. I will protect you. I will make you feel incredible. You will? I do love you so much. Oh, yeah. Whatever you are. I don't care. I just want to be with you. Yes, I always know that I adore you. I share my blood with only you, dear Heather. Probably not. I might share my blood with other people, but you won't know that. What can I do to show my appreciation? I'm feeling famished. Share your blood with me. I really need the blood. I wonder if we would kill her. <laughs> that would be interesting. I think we can make her change her clothing, actually. Yeah. Um, anyway. Let's go to Santa Monica, I guess. And I want to check the Lucky Star Motel. Let's see. Yeah, it's in Hollywood. Which means we won't be doing that quest for now. So let's find the taxi. I think we should be able to do the quest in this episode. Because it's kind of a fast one, I guess. It's a quick one. We have to go to the blood bank and steal the blood, basically. And since we're at a higher level, I would like to say it should be easier. We should probably actually level up some stuff. Um. Maybe I should... Let's do stealth. Because I know a quest that we'll need. Going to stealthy Dorian. And... Yeah, I think we should just... Put our point into that. Okay, let's go to the blood bank. Which I believe is... Is the building? Yeah. We need to sneak, I think. I wonder if we can speak to that guy who sells blood. Probably won't even speak to us, but still we can try, right? I mean, we don't need to sneak right now. Why am I... Why am I sneaking? Blood don't grow on trees. What can I do to make up for the girl I freed? Now that you let that one go, I have to go out and find someone else to fill the chair. But it's kind of chilly out, and now that my co-pilot's been devoured, I'm flying solo. I need a new body. Find another donor and I'll whip up a fresh batch. 
Where should I look? The bitch who owns me and this place runs the asylum. Lots of young, stupid run there. Not like the putrid, stinking, vagrant blood we so often get. Don't shed any of the clumsy old misses if you don't appreciate it. Fine, I'll check out the asylum. Goodbye. <laughs> Employee of the month. You're right. Okay, let's see the maid real quick. I mean, we should do that. I, I don't know. It is a quest. We will probably get points for doing it. So, oh wait, are we supposed to go in here? Or? Uh, a medical clinic. So it might not be down here. Well, maybe it is. There's a computer here. We might want to check it out. Heard someone sniffing. Oh, that's the cadaver. I can't write cadavers. Why can't I write? Cowbell. Okay. Uh, Jindo. What the hell? Did I? Oh, somebody drank her blood. Morgue, probably not in the morgue. And this is supposed to be an elevator thing, but wait, is this connected to a different quest? I don't remember. Nothing is in here, yeah. Probably is. Well, let's check around here and see if we're going the right way. Which we aren't, or are we? Oh, so this is how you go over here. I always thought about. Malcolm's office key. No, there might be a guard over here, so. Hey Danny, we received an interesting blood sample from someone over at the sun. I guess some freak told them it was a werewolf blood. Can you believe that shit? Anyway, they're playing they're paying us to run the numbers, so could you do that could you do it on your next shift? Many thanks, F Doc. How the hell am I supposed to know what you're testing for? Get creative. It's really not a big deal, but just see if there's anything strange about it. F Doc. Oh yeah, sorry, the sample is in the electronic cabinet in controlled substances. BTW. Oh, by the way, <laughs> are you down for some hoops this weekend? Jesus, do you know anything? I had Phil change the password a few hours ago. The new password is the name of Malcolm's dirty little secret. Oops, did I say that? You better delete this thing when you're done reading it. See you at the park on Saturday, Saturday morning at dark. Not gonna delete that person. Uh, not gonna do that. Too much reading. So, controlled substances is where we need to go. Save really quickly. Room 4. Wrong room. Room 2. Wrong room as well. Room 3 is where Malcolm's standing. And how the hell do I go to the controlled substances? Do I go down there? I forget. I guess I go up. And if 
think so. Now we need to be really sneaky. Because I know that there's a security guard in this place. I just know it. difficult to climb things in this game see I'm just there we go I think we have to go this way controlled substances door Substances cabinet. Arm lock. Now let's go back. Mm, here, if we can climb this thing. Why is it so freaking difficult? Okay. Someone over there. Please don't be over here, person. Oh, he's over here. This area is for hospital staff only. You're much too handsome to be working in a place like this. Uh. Miss? Want to find out if you're daydreaming? <sighs> now we can just walk around, I guess. Uh, prescriptions is not where we need to go. This is the controlled substances. Substances, I think so. Werewolf blood, we have it. Now we can leave this freaking place. Security. I think we can leave the blood in our mailbox in the apartment in Santa Monica. Doesn't really matter, I think. And since it's closer, we can actually do that. This will be a long episode. But I thought I should do them longer because, you know... The game is pretty long. I have two long let's plays, basically, on the channel right now. And kind of want to finish this one quicker because I know it's not as long as The Witcher. So, yeah. You have retrieved the werewolf blood from the medical clinic, put it in your mailbox, send it to Lacroix. Do you have to exit for it to activate? Or do I have to, you know, go to the Skyline Apartments? Let's check our computer. Real um, okay. I guess I'll take the blood then <laughs> from here and place it in the other mailbox. Okay, so I guess I'll end this episode right here, everybody. I hope you enjoyed it. Please like and subscribe if you did. And I hope you have a great day. 
uh, we will put the blood in the next episode into our skyline apartment apartment <laughs> and yeah i'll see you in the next episode as i said before probably i suck at ending episodes apparently yeah so, <laughs> so yeah we will do that uh, i hope you have a great day like subscribe if you enjoyed these videos and have a great day again goodbye what a sucky ending to this episode <laughs> goodbye